only their gifts are plentiful. Good ladies. Merciful no, ladies. My grandson, give him help. He waits his show. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb a mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot, fires just the view. Hours late and slumber cold. It's not ready! You've got a right! That's it. Some. Greetings! Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell. <laughs> it's clearing up. that well come on come closer girl Aye. what's she like narrow hips sparkly eyes a striking feisty lass never had a man never mind got me answer I choose you girl this night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. 
I stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus, it's old and infertile. I reject ye, Frank. The girl will ascend alone. What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them and they start life anew. The last were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eye, so she's like to be the last. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Oran. Now, bring me the coin.
I was beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there. But only the Chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, can I keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! Went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop whining. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a zoo. yours. Mm, your name don't matter. Atop the peak you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? Got something to do up there, so just let us through. <laughs> Given me orders? You? A human? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers Orum. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalarch said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. Let's get down there. 